Hi guys, Adam here with Yackleberry, and here's the deal. Ever so often, when I'm feeling kind of old, I need to prove to myself that I've still got what it takes. To myself uh, today I'm going to be uh, doing my running and I am going to then be biking several miles and then I'm gonna do some kayaking after that anyway it's gonna be a lot of fun um, put myself through the ringer for sure and see if I've uh, still got what it takes we reached the halfway point and uh, I'm just getting warmed up so that's good stuff Keep pushing. We gotta finish this first leg. Look at Dick. Okay, that's pretty much it for the run portion of this. And now I'm just kind of on the cool down and finishing the curve around to my house. Um, and that wasn't so bad, really. Um, I use a little app on my phone that kind of coaches me uh, each run. It kind of progresses uh, and things of that nature. I just kind of take it at my own pace. It's supposed to be like a weekly thing one two and stuff by taking at my own pace and stuff so I'm just gonna finish up this cool down part where I'm walking and then I'm gonna go load the bike up and I'm gonna hit the Katy Trail here uh, where I live and I'm bike I don't know six or more miles today and then I'll turn around and grab the yak and we'll head out on the water it's a warm one so being out on the water would be pretty nice <clears throat> now I've been biking way longer uh, than I even have been kayaking uh, uh, several several years and uh, I can build a bike from the ground up uh, fix just about anything um, some of y'all laughing because it, it don't seem like it's that difficult of a deal but uh, uh, when you get a new bike in you can't trust what's been done to it and, and there ain't hardly any grease in it. it needs a new bottom bracket all kind of stuff needs to go on so anyways um so I definitely enjoy biking and didn't get to do a lot of it last year because I was making my gun holsters. But So this year I um, tried to pick it back up again and just bought a new bike. And, and uh, anyway, so I like to pre-fuel sometimes with a little bit of fruit or something um, that's semi-healthy. Uh, and then, of course, midway through the ride, if I need a little something extra, uh, then, of course, I'll eat that as well. And uh, so and as long as I've got some water, some kind of liquid, uh, I'm, I'm good to go. That's what I like about loading these bikes. Have to do it. MKT, that was uh, Missouri, Kansas, Texas Railroad back in the day. And, uh, <clears throat> and it looks like part of one of the trains, I guess. And that's where the uh, Katy Trail starts. There's your Katy Trail State Park. Clinton, all kind of goodies. Nice place. Wonderful, wonderful uh, place to bring a family or get out here and ride a bike. Good times. Here we go. And we're going to launch. Here we go. Launching the Katy Trail. Uh, from actually the trailhead here in Missouri in the Clinton area. I got my running out of the way, and I'm gonna hit my biking, and then uh, weather permitting, we'll hit the kayak and maybe relax with some fishing. Um, so that's the plan for today. Biking has been one of my favorite pastimes, and I kind of got away from it a little bit. I first got into it, tried to get a little exercise, hated it at first, I think like, uh, like most people might. And so the reason was because my butt hurt from the seats, uh, but thankfully um, I gave it enough time to uh, get used to it. And once I started getting used to the seat um, and the pressure on my hands and stuff, then it became you know a little bit more the enjoyment came through. And I think a lot of people miss that. I think a lot of people, uh, you know, get on a ride or two and just hate the feeling of. Uh, how it feels on their pelvic 
pelvis bone or like the next day it's really really sore and so I think they hate that feeling and they don't give it an opportunity uh, to adjust. So anyways the Katy Trail is a long 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 trail well over 200 miles stretching from Clinton all the way to I think St. Charles Missouri a uh, very long trail um, and I know they have one trail built off of it that goes up back towards Kansas City I think it's called something like Rock Bridge or Rock Hill or something I believe trail I don't know how long that is I haven't been on it but I'm looking forward to it we're fixing to come up on a nice part of the trail um, where it the trees have kind of made a canopy over it it's a lot easier um, to distinguish this part of the trail when the sun is out uh, and you can really see the shade difference but since it's pretty much cloudy hang on I gotta clear this road it looks clear since it looks or since it's so cloudy it's hard to distinguish this part but we start slanting downhill now and you'll start seeing it hopefully you'll start seeing it come into view for you and it's really a neat part especially if you're out riding on a very hot sunny day it's one heck of a reprieve because it gives you a good distance of shade that you can enjoy um, and it really helps to pick up back up your spirits so here we are dipping down a little bit you can see that the tree growth is starting to thicken and we're gonna scoot right on through it but it is really a beautiful section and we'll pick up some speed through it usually if you do that you've got a good cool breeze So we're just about at the five mile point, uh, and I know that because I usually have a bike computer on here, which this is a new one so I don't, but I went out here several times uh, to turn around at, so I, I know it's five miles, but, uh, and this is where we'll turn around today, some kind of bugs on my ear, get the hell off, bugs like you out here. So we'll come up here to this turnaround point. There's also a bench up here where a lot of people, a lot of people uh, can relax and rest. Um, damn, look at that big snake in the road. Y'all see him? A big dude. Gotta watch this guy, don't we? But I really wanted to show you something here. The other day I came out on the trail and uh, had to do a number two. Wasn't prepared for it. Obviously, didn't bring any toilet paper, but I don't know if you guys can see or not. But there is mullen plants. Hold this camera down here. There's mullen plants all over the sides of this trail. You see all those big guys down there? Now, I don't know if you guys know about mullen plants. I, I, I know a lot of you do, but if you don't, if you can see this, this guy is extremely uh, soft. He, uh, it's not like prickly, but he's almost like a towel. Uh, almost like a little dish towel or something, but you can really see how maybe how fuzzy. I don't know how the focus is, but he's extremely fuzzy. But man, you take out on the hand, and you're good to go. So if you happen to see some of these uh, on the trail, uh, like I'm going to, I'm going to collect a couple of these in case a couple miles down uh, I end up needing to go again. So a couple, two or three, and. Uh, that looks dark back there, doesn't it? We might get rained on two or three of these. I'm gonna pack it in here. And uh that's gonna make my toilet paper, guys, in case I get stuck in that situation again. You usually find it on any kind of trails like this where it's been where the dirt's been disturbed and stuff, so you know. I just thought maybe I'd share that. As it gets darker out here, and maybe that's just my sunglasses. And as it gets darker, I start to get a little more concerned that I'm gonna get rained on, which poses several problems. Just a few of which are 
I get nasty wet when you're trying to pump your legs across the saddle and the, the gravel here gets soggy and it turns into uh, just enough mush that it makes it difficult to paddle, pedal in and it's like sinking trying to pedal through mud um, or uh, like snow if you've ever done that but here's where we're going to rest it here's some of these little uh, I guess donate look at those clouds I don't know if you can tell in there, but maybe it looks lighter back there, so we might be able to find these donated seats uh, for riders to come rest on and stuff. Or probably, I would say more of walkers, because I'd say if you are a rider, uh, chances are you have uh, worn your tush out, and you're looking forward to you're just looking forward to um, standing. All right, peeps, here we are. Uh, I'm at my rest place. Uh, switch camera. I still got the um, AS20 uh, mounted here on the on the shoulder part, and uh, but here I am. Got my bike and seat if I need it, which I don't. But this is a good place to turn around. It's about five miles out. But um, I think that the Thunderheads uh, already passed over. I think there's just a couple, and I think back here I hope is a little bit lighter because uh, I'd like to ride back with no rain. Plus I got to get my third leg today, which is to go out kayaking. So uh, we're gonna. We're going to go ahead and hop back on the bike, and I'm going to paddle my way on back. Pedal my way on back. Paddle, pedal. See, I'm going to get those interchanged uh, wrong all the time, so you'll have to sort that crap out. But uh, it was a good five miles out. Uh, I'm very much warmed up on here, and uh, so I'm about ready to get back at it. And uh, we'll head back in, and then we'll get to some kayak, and everything works out. But there's the, uh, the Schwinn Men's Zero 700C, if I can get this camera right. Great bike. Uh, put your little pouch thing on the back and uh, you'll be good to go so we gotta get back on the road back on the trail should I say don't bring mountain bikes out here when you start bringing mountain bikes is for mountain bike type of trails you do these type of trails that are fine gravel and stuff don't bring a mountain bike out it's not that they can't do this it's, this is gonna be too much for it you're gonna have too much friction out here you don't need it you get something that has these little bitty tires on it but they're not like road tires you know, they're not going to blow out on you stuff, but it's much better to get a lot less friction and stuff. So, uh, mountain bike is too much for out here. Um, it's really going to wear you out. So, unless you're wanting a heck of a workout and not go very far, and when you want to coast, you can't coast very far, uh, you wish you had one of these hybrids. And, uh, get some goods. This is that G2. A little bit of cookie. Going underneath 13 Highway. And, uh, finishing off this bicycling for the day and just right up ahead is the depot in Clinton and that's where I'll be taken out thankfully loading the bike is not a hard deal put it in and go slide it in the back and go don't have to worry about strapping it down not unless I take everybody's bikes so a very relaxing part of the trail right here uh, a lot of trees Give you some shade and uh, got a rest stop right up here at the depot. Bathrooms, fount water fountains, so on. So glad you guys got to enjoy uh, a little bit of the trail with me today. And weather permitting, weather permitting, we'll move on to kayak. So there's a little depot, place to sit in the restrooms, water fountain. We're just gonna breeze right through all of it and head on out to the truck. And baseball fields, soccer fields, and here we go. So we're coming back this direction south on the uh, little strip pits here. Um, I'm hoping to where like the lazy people don't go, but they don't want to paddle this far out. Uh, Hopefully that'll give us a little bit better uh, chances, I guess. But I'm going to come up here and turn right and uh, see if I can get out there. Hopefully the uh, hills on that side will block some of this wind a little bit. If not, I have an anchor. Uh, it's not a big deal. I'm not real concerned about it. But it really is beautiful looking. Uh, it was supposed to be cloudy today. And right now, there is not much in the way of clouds. Uh, the sun is shining bright, cooking me skin and everything and 
so that's that's positive. I pretty much figured out why nobody comes back here. But I've kind of passed up most of it. There's this nasty, just nasty stuff in the water. Uh, you're seeing all this stuff, which I think to a lot of bass fishermen, like, ooh, you know, I like that kind of stuff. Because the bass would be in there, right? Well, you're probably right. I just don't have the lures, I guess, that go in there and, you know, can get them out. I don't really know what to use to get them out and uh, avoid getting hung up in it. So, I totally lost track of time. And even though it's not late by any means, um, I've been out here for a couple hours now. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn it in. And, you know, even though I didn't catch a fish, that's okay. Um, I thought I had a little bite back here. I thought I was going to have to turn the old camera on. Uh, but it wasn't. Or something. Or Lego or something. But uh, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out of here and, and end the, the fish trip for today. And, uh, you know, I still had a whole lot of fun. Uh, the whole day has been uh, pretty fun. It's been a very active day for me. But, uh, what do you want to call it? Just want to say thanks for all my subscribers for subscribing. I hope you're enjoying some of these videos uh, as they come. And uh, feel free to check out my website, yackleberry.wixsite.com forward slash yackleberry. Yeah, I know that's a lot. That's why it'll be in the description. <laughs> also, if you want to check out uh, in that, uh, that same website, there's a recommend gear page. Uh, it's gear that I currently use or that I I, uh, I happen to like. Um, I do like good product. I have to admit, a product that has uh, multi-use for me is really where I go. If it's got a single use, mm, I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. If it's got multi-use, I have no problem spending a little bit more money. But anyways, you can check out those things on my website. For sure. Uh, you can follow me a little on Twitter. Um, I go there every so often to kind of update things or videos get shared there, but if that's your main, you know, social platform and such, then you probably will get some updates there as well. I don't necessarily have a Facebook page. Uh, I just have my personal one. Um, but between YouTube, and Twitter, and the website, I think we got it covered. Like I said, I do got a huge trip coming up if everything works out. The stars align, the Lord wills, whatever you want to call it. We got a nice trip coming up that I am pretty excited about. Also very nervous about, but uh, one that I don't learn, really want to miss. Uh, it's going to be a seven-day uh, kayak camping trip uh, with a group of acquaintances. Uh, I'm sure we'll become quick friends, uh, no problem. But I'm uh, looking forward to that. Looking forward to making some pretty cool memories. Um, I will have to take an airplane to get there. The person's been very generous. Again, I appreciate him for um, helping me out and helping me make it happen. So, I'm not going to tell you who the group's with right now. Uh, I will give you a clip, a video clip of this person. And uh, some of you will guess who it is. of you may not so anyways i will update you as time goes by i believe it's next month so i'll update you as the time goes by